and we are live. Happy Thursday, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Very important day today. Uh, episode 15. You know, we were supposed to have episode 14 last week. But unfortunately, we couldn't do episode 14 last week. Yo, shout out to Juan. Haven't seen you in a minute. We couldn't do episode 14 last week. Yo, Juan, DM me after this. We couldn't do episode 14 last week, but, you know, we're going to do episode 15 this week. But, baby, I am happy. Happy Thursday to everybody. I'm so hyped today. I got Dan the Man all the way from Memphis, Tennessee. But before I begin, guys, you already know the vibes. This IG Live is sponsored by the best brand out there. And Lime. Yo, shout out to Randy. Shout out to Randy all the way in Canada. And Lime, baby. Check out my page, you guys. If you guys are new here, you know, check out my page. At Lime NYC. And if you want to check out some of my reviews on YouTube, um, check out my, my YouTube. At Lime TV. But yeah, episode 14. And I'm just waiting right now for my homeboy Dan to get in here. Let me send him a message. Um, I don't know if he knows. Hey, bro, I'm in. Uh, shout out to everybody joining us tonight. We got Randy. We got John Fit, Fit and Kicks. He's also going to be in the show. Uh, John, shout out to you, brother. Working on your t-shirt. Um, DJ Tommy Riz is in here. Shout out to him. And let's go. Let's go. Uh, I just hit him up, and I'm super ready, and I'm super hyped. Let's do this. You guys know the vibes. We out here, guys. We out here. Uh, sorry for the mess. Shout out to everybody joining us tonight. So we just waiting on Dan right now. Um, I hope everybody's having a uh, good day today. You know, blessed to be doing this. So very excited to get to know uh, each and every one of you guys. And yeah, I'm excited. Shout out to Corey Lasapio. La Shout out to Brian Noguera. Shout out to you guys, yo. Uh, where's the homie at? Where you at, Dan? Dan the man. Where you at? Those Adeline Miami jerseys is... Yo, bro. So, basically, as you know... Yeah, bro. Um, So, I had to get your t-shirt because I don't really have, um like, 2XL. So, I had to get it. So, I'm working on it. But, yeah, bro. The Miami shit, bro. I basically... I make everything to order. Once people, like, place the order, I make it. So, I'm really excited for somebody to order it. You know, the biggest size I have is 2X. So, bro, if, if you want to add that to the to the T-shirt, bro, I got you, bro. I got you with a sweet deal. But, yeah, let's go, everybody. Shout out to Randy. <laughs> oh, so my guy Dan the man, he thought that I was gonna like send them an invite. He thought I was gonna like send them an invite. Like, all right, there we go. He's in here now. I'm gonna send you the invite. It was a matter of time. <sighs> But we here. We made it. <laughs> oh hey. Oh oh hey. Maybe this is why. Is this why you were late, sir? <laughs> Always. You got, <laughs> you got caught there, buddy. Don't worry. How you How you doing, Dad? I'm good. I got a 
adjust my volume here. Yeah, let me because it's like let a, me turn off my fan. It's a little it's loud. About 117 degrees down here, so I got my AC blaring. Woo! Yo, that's what's up. We Fire all, it up, everybody. If you got, if you smoke them, if you got them, all right, let's get, get on it. Get with just, it. You guys know the vibes. How was it today, Dan? Hot. It was pretty hot. I had to go to my kids' school and take all their school supplies, and that was that was that was nice to meet the teacher. But man, they asked for so many goddamn school supplies. Now I'd like four boxes of shit. How'd it take up there, man? <coughs> it's crazy. Crazy. Wait, so do, do, How do you kids do? in um in Memphis they start school already? No, next week. They start on Monday. And uh, I know it's crazy. It's crazy. When I was a kid, we didn't start to like Labor Day, you know, like not August first. <coughs> oh, but they they must get out earlier. That's why they really they don't get out much earlier. That's the thing. I mean, they get out June like everybody else does. That's so. crazy. But yeah, that um, I already know who you are. Let's just tell everybody. A little bit about yourself and you know who you are cool um i'm from houston originally i live in memphis now um you know i've been into sneakers for a while <coughs> excuse me um you know but it really wasn't until recently that i've like been able to buy sneakers because like i was an alcoholic for a long time and alcoholics don't have much money for stuff you know I was the kind of guy who was like buying, collecting things and then having to sell them all off because I didn't have no money kind of thing. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I gave up that life. And then, you know, I moved to Memphis about six years ago with my wife. She got a job here. So we moved out here. And then with Nike here, I got hooked up with some friends who worked there and then back this was before the pandemic and stuff, so you could still get discounted stuff pretty easy, you know, you could find things on the cheap, and so, you know, that's how I got into really collecting, because I was, I had a plug where I was getting 40% off every, everything, every drop, and you could, you know, because shit wasn't selling out back then, like it, like it has been, I mean, it's back to like, it's getting better again, drops aren't selling out, which is bananas, but, you know, I, I'm excited that it's come back down to that so how and, uh, long ago did you start collecting shoes uh i started collecting for real about probably about yeah six years ago when i moved here i had a couple pair but once i moved here it's before that my wife was in school and so then she got she finished school and moved here for a job so then we had more money all of a sudden and so i was able to collect more so you know so i started heavy collecting then just uh picking up old stuff older stuff that i loved um you know and a lot of the newer stuff that came out and you know that kind of a deal so uh yeah so i've always been into shoes like you know i got into shoes from like skateboarding because like i was you know i'm like 50 so i was around in 85 i was around in 86 and stuff and I wore Jordans. I've skated in Jordan 1, uh, you know, the bread toe. And uh, and to me, they were just good skate shoes. Because back then, like, we, when we skated back then, like, this is like the late 80s. It was almost more athletic. It was before the era where people wore jeans to skate in. Back when I was a kid and we skated, we were, like, wanting basketball shoes because they were, like, performance shoes, you know. And so that's that's how I got into sneakers originally. And then I kind of got into a lot of the more sneakers, a lot of the more skate sneakers for a while. And then, you know, kind of in the early 2000s, I got into a lot of the European uh, shoes, like the, the block toed shoes that like Camper and Bjorn and some of those people put out. Uh, and then it was really when I got that, when I moved to Memphis, when I got my Nike collection like going real good. And, um, so yeah and now you know i'm i'm a i'm a wear your shoes guy i throw my boxes away like immediately well 
I say that like it's a flex. I give I give them to other sneaker heads. I don't really throw them away, but I don't keep them. You know, I I take them out of the box, and I got some nice uh, drop front boxes that I store in and like for my collection. But you know, I'm the guy who puts the shoes on right away. You know, I got I'm a on DS whatever I got. You know. Oh, okay. okay. I see you. I yeah. see you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, that's so pretty, that, my that's pretty goal, dope, man. What's up? That's pretty dope that you give away the boxes, you know. That's, uh, because honestly, you know, it's so many shoes and it, the boxes are, it takes up so much space. Absolutely, man. You know, Absolutely. For me, I, I find that struggle because I have to put, like, everything in bags because, you know, I put my boxes so in the basement, and, you know, that's not ideal. Some Dornbecker ones. Ones. There's a lot of two boxes over there. Uh, some uh, got the lost and found box. Over. Some random boxes that I liked, I kept. But mostly, man, I gave them away. And uh, you know, not being a box person, I get to beat up resellers on no box pairs all the time. But I don't even need the box, so it's a nice deal. I could buy sh cheap, cheaper shoes because I don't care if the box is there. But, uh, that's dope, man. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Um, I was gonna say, um, well, I'm I'm very into the boxes because you know I'm a packaging designer, yeah. so like yeah, I yeah. love, like especially when I see a different box, like I get like super excited. Like you said, like I'm sure you keep certain boxes for a reason because of the design exactly. or whatever or yeah. or the exactly. detail. Yep. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool that we're talking about the box because we're. We never really talk about that. We always talk about shoes, and yeah, you know, it's pretty cool that we touch well, that. Well, I've stuff, gotten into like, subject. I got some of the paper too. Like this is from the union, and, and then I have, um, you know, this is from. Well, not that. This is from the uh, this the, you know, the, the, the Chateau the Maison tools, Rouge right? twos. Yeah, and then I got, you know, this this uh, paper is pretty good too. And I think that's, yeah, that's from like the Union Lowe's. So, yeah, the stuff that I like, I'll just rip out and then, you know, slap here on my shed wall. You know, I got all these. Those are from the threes that dropped. And then that's the lost and found paper right there. So, that's yeah. I, that's you know, pretty, and that's the that's thing. It's like, cool, I keep what's cool. It's a pretty cool wall. Yeah. yeah. I got a lot. Of, it's, it's a great little spot in here. Like, I don't know if you can see, but. If you look hanging from the ceiling, those are all hang tags. Is that, that is that like your garage? It's like it's like a little shed behind my garage. Nice. See, look at. I, I love it. So these are all hang tags up here. So are those hang tags from sneakers? Yep. Those are Amas. Those are the lucky green ones. That's so so cool. Here's That's so cool. There. I love that. I love Here's that. The Gatorades right there. Dude, that's super freaking cool. Like, yeah. You know. I mean, I'm a, I'm not someone who keeps them on the shoe, but I like them. I don't I don't want to throw them away or nothing. And so I. That is so cool. I lost you there for a second. Yeah. It gives me something to do with them as well. <coughs> Yo, that's that's such a great idea, man. Pardon that's, me. You made it. You made it like you made it like fu functional. You made the hand tags like functional. Like you made you made it look like more of an art piece. Like that's so cool. I love that. Right. Well, and that's you know that's what I want because, like I said, I like I like some of that stuff. And while I might not like like the box, it's like. I don't want to just throw that paper in the garbage, you know. So, take it up on the wall. And, you know. Yo, that's so dope, bro. Like, you're making me want to go out there and just go on that little shed and just hot box the shit out of that fucking shit. Oh, hell shed, yeah, bro. man. <laughs> so many times you pick out whatever piece you want to use. Wow, he has, look at that. The, the, the toys, the toys is out right there. <laughs> wow. And, you know, if you need a lighter. I got some lighters what? too. What? Look at that. He got the collection ready. He got the collection ready. Yeah. I like to collect things. I get it, 
man. I I mean, clearly we we love we love to collect yeah. things. Well, I mean, I grew up, you know, kind of like a poor working class kid, and I didn't have shit. And so it's like, when I like something now, I just I like I like want all of it, you know. I get it. I get it. So would you say that the Jordan One, what was that shoe? that like really pulled you into sneakers was is, is it the jordan one yeah 100 percent. the jordan one is the jordan to me um you know i'm not unlike most people i don't like fours to me fours look cheap and they look like i think because being around at that time there were so many knockoffs like it was so such a like knocked off shoe that it just feels it looks fake to me almost when i look at fours they all just look like something with plastic on it you know right so yeah i'm a big fan for me the shoes are are ones and twos and threes really that's that's the majority of my collection probably most most overall probably ones and then probably twos and threes how do you feel i mean i got a pair of fire fours and i got some fives i got um i got those easter fives I got the what the fives, uh, uh, a couple of other pair, I think. Like the pre-grape fives, I really liked, so I kept them, even though I got rid of some of the other ones. And then sixes, yeah, I got some sixes. I got both the infrareds, because those are classics, you know, the green and the orange. And then I got uh, I got the cigar, you know, that green, uh, that Love six. those. Oh God, they're those they're so fucking sick. And then uh I got I even like the other pair, the alternate pair. What's that? I even like the alternate pair. Yeah, the, I like those the two. green I pair. Have the, I have the green pair and then there's the yeah, that other pair as well. And that one's that one's they're both really sick. They're 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 so pretty. That's a real pretty shoe. And then I have one pair of sevens. I got the Dornbecker sevens. So I like the Dornbecker stuff. And then eights, I got I got the Wolf Gray eights. And I, that might be it. I don't I don't like to wear the I like the Which eights. one is the Wolf Gray eights? Is that like the They're all gray? All gray, yeah. Oh. Is it these? Yeah. Is that these? Yeah, yeah, that one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that's just the wolf gray, yeah. That's the one. But uh, for me, it's like I wear my shoes loose. So the sock style shoes, I don't really, I can't rock with them. I like the eights, and I used to have a lot more pairs, and I just kind of got to where I was like, I'm not going to wear them. And so I dumped them. And uh, which, and I did, I mean, I kept those, and I think I have another pair. I think I have the N7 eights from a few years ago, the Pendleton eights. And uh, again, they're just, I love them. I just don't wear them that much. But I don't have any nines or tens or elevens. Really, that's you don't have no elevens? No, I. That's another that's, thing. I'm not an eleven fan. I don't like that. That's a, that pattern. I just, I don't know, man. I've had elevens, but I don't like them. I don't like them. But how about, uh, how about 12s? twelves? I have a couple pair of twelves. I like twelves a lot. My only problem is they don't last. The tongue slips down after a few years, and it gets this fat bump at the bottom of the of the lace part and there's just nothing you can do and i don't like it so i only have two pair that i end up keeping i've got the indigo and the cherries the uh, you know from whatever year that was when they last came out indigo and, and, and I got i'm trying to rem i'm trying to remember which is the the indigo 12s yeah yeah oh. they're blue oh. they're the blue and then it's a white sole uh, right, yeah, right. they're real pretty. I like those a lot. Right. And then I got a lot of 13s because I'm a 13 fan. I, I cut my collection down some, but I got the cap and gown. I got the Dornbecker. I got those new Soulfly 13s, those baby blue ones that Ooh. drop. Ooh, those are sick. I like those a lot. Those are sexy. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. And then I Souls. The thing is, I started. I got mad that the yellow nubs at the always, or the, the white nubs always yellow, 
and get dirty. And so I didn't like that. So I got rid of a lot of the ones that have white bottoms because white touching the ground is not ideal. And, uh, <laughs> but otherwise, most of the other ones I've, I've kept, I can't remember what other ones are, but they're all like black. They have the black bottom or the black midsole. And, How about and, uh, Jordan? Four, are you into Jordan 14s? Yeah, I got some 14s. I got the gingers. I got the, um, oh, some kind of, I forget what they're called. Some sort of, it's called something green it's from a few years ago. Uh, then I got the, the white Supremes, you know, with the metal studs on them. Those I like a lot. And... I have, oh, uh, dang it, I can't remember. Huh, what are those? But they're like a white, off-white sail, they're, or they're like a, I mean, they're like a sail kind of color. I forget, they're gray. I think it's a gray. I like them. I like 14s. I've, I didn't like them at first, uh, but I've come around on them a little bit. It's a pretty, and, uh, I think pretty, I it's a pretty cool, unique shoe. What's that? I, I think it's like a unique shoe the 14 definitely definitely it is uh it's yeah and they only get more new unique from there <laughs> right i believe the 14 is probably like the last number for the majority of people that i know is that's that's about it people will go up to 14 yeah plus 15, is, 15 is too much i got the billy eilish 15 yeah those are sexy yeah man. And I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else. I, it's hard. It's hard because they don't they don't release them. No, exactly. And you know, some of the people who have some of those those older ones that are like twenties, uh, some of those classic twenties and stuff that I've seen the soles just fall off with them walking on them. You know, a lot of those ones they ain't retro are are, de are dying or dead by now. Right. So, how about 16s? What's that? 16s. Duh, I don't have any of those. Nothing more. Nothing more than that. So, le so let's get to the best part of the show, where everybody came here to watch. You want to see top, some shoes? Yeah, let's see some shoes. Your top, your top rotation, your top sneakers. Let's go. All right. Let's see well, some heat. We're gonna no, okay, so here's no, there's no particular order, but I'm going to show you like my top five. I think it's actually six, but my top six, and then I'm going to show you my top five from this year. So you get to see both. But wow, okay. first off, now these are the shoes that got me back into Nikes from skateboarding. The De La Soul Dunks. The highs and the lows. What? These are like some of my favorite. See? Very good condition. Wow. Yeah, I have the white highs as well, but I don't have the white lows. And while I'm not a fan of SBs now, because of the fat tongues, I feel like the, the tongues were a little less fat back then. So. Which one yeah. is which one is older, the high top one, right? Yeah, I think the high tops are the 2005s, and the other are the 2015s. Yeah. Or it's the other way around. I can't remember. So you you said you had the yellow the you said you had the yellow ones and you got rid of them. No, no, no. I didn't get rid of them. I have the white, the yellow highs, but not the lows. I just didn't bring out them. Because, yeah, those ones are, those ones are easier to come back. These are the ones. Those are, those are like one of my favorite SBs of, of all time. Yeah. yeah. Those are definitely like top 10. Definitely. Obviously, same here. All right. Let's Although see. it's difficult because there's a lot of good SBs. All right. So here's another pair. Some ones this time. The Storm Blues. 
a classic pair. These to what? me are obviously one of my favorites. They're still in good shape for sure. But this is a pair that I almost buy again whenever I see it because I love it so much. There's just something about the Jordan blues that they do so well. And so they go for so much money. Yeah. I love them. Thanks. Let's see what else we got over here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Let's get some threes. My favorite pair of threes. Cloud of blue. The classic, uh, whatever blue this is called. Indeed. And one of the things I like too is that these have, this is like a, a satin, you know, this kind of inside the sock liner. It's like a nice satin, uh, satin fabric, which is pretty cool. That's a cool, these cool are detail. Pretty good. I like threes. I have these. I have the rust pinks that I kind of go with them. I got the Ama threes. You know, I got I got the black cements. I should have brought them out here too. I love the black cement threes. Those are those are those are very nice. <coughs> All right, let's see what else do we got. Oh, okay, here we go. I forgot some more dunks. Ah! Dorian Becker dunks. These wow. are a very uncommon pair that I don't know that everybody liked, but now they go for quite a lot of money on StockX. To me, uh, man, I mean, I like the Dornbeckers, the whole thing. You know, they get kids that are at the sick, sick at the hospital designing shoes. That's sick, you know. <coughs> but uh, beyond that, just like this is a good palette for me. I really like this green. And then the materials on this are really nice as well. There's different kinds of leather. So yeah, these are real nice Dornbecker and a real nice dunk. Okay, well, speaking of Dornbeckers, this was my the first nice pair of twos I got. The Dornbecker <gasps> twos, the Peacock twos. I love those. Yeah. yeah. These are, I mean, again, I don't, I don't think I need to really introduce them at all. You know, at this point I've talked about Dornbeckers and I love twos, but yeah, these are, yeah, these are probably my number one pride and joy in my collection say it's these I have to agree. definitely not my most worn shoe in the sense like i don't take them out all the time but it's probably my favorite shoe i love that shoe love yeah it. if someone if someone forced me to pick a favorite but like my children i love them all equally <laughs> okay let's see okay last of the old pairs Last of the old pairs. Oh, okay. Who knows what these are? They need no introduction. Now I'll just okay. say they don't make not, They don't. They don't make shoes like this anymore. None of the nice, you know, releases have this soft inside part. Like the UNCs that just dropped, the UNC toes. Those are a nice release. But, like, it's nothing compared to these SBBs. I mean, the leather back here is nice, but this is, like, this feels like some padded butter right here. And that ain't like what anything they've been putting out lately. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, Nike's been dropping the ball lately on material. Yeah, they just uh, got lazy. They're just printing money over there. and Everybody was buying what, no matter what garbage they sent out. I mean, yeah, shit. I, just the fact that they have all these fucking dumbass moccasins on on sneakers, I'm always like, what the hell is this, like, Tiva dad core shit, you know? Why do you have this? It used to just be hot sneakers, but I'm like, man, they can sell anything on there, but who knows? Things aren't selling that out now, so that's that's always good for buyers.
Right. Okay, let's see. Let's look at some stuff from this year. How about? Oh, the Tech Gray airships. These, Back I series. highly recommend everybody get this pair of shoes. Back um, it, it's really, these are cheap, um, but they're really nice because they have the fuzzy suede on them, just like the blue every games. And they have a nicer leather than like the, uh, you know, the GR gold and orange airships that came out. But they're still below retail on StockX. I think they're less than $100 you can find these. So I mean, really? I tell everyone, these are of nice materials. And then you got a pretty airship in your collection as well. So I tried to get those fucking black and white AMA airships today. They were sold out. I was on there at 10 o'clock, and I still was sold out in from my cart. So I was pissed about that. Uh, do you think... Is that is that's that's pretty much the only place they drop, right? Yeah, yeah, that was that was the drop. Yeah, that's lame. All right, let's see what else I got. Here we go. Here's some fun twos. These are. I forget what these are called. So those are but... the those are the Titan the Titan the Titan twos. What now? What now? I think they're called like the Titan 22s. If yeah, Andy, yeah, that's exactly right. Yes, now that you've so, said it. Yeah, they're from the store in the in the Philippines. Yeah. Nice. And, these, uh, I have all three of that. So that three collabs that came out, these and uh, that spot in Detroit with the brown pair. And then there's that other orangish pair. Yeah, those uh, are from uh, South Africa. Right. Yeah. And uh, these are kind of my favorite out of those because, like, th this, all of this is real nice because I spill coffee a lot, and then, <laughs> but you can't see it. So that's very good. And then uh, this corduroy on the front, I really like quite a bit. The nice the, detail. The nice still, detail. Still got nice, nice leather in the construction of these. No, I love that shoe. Beautiful shoe. I have that it also. It is a nice one. Oh, yeah, I like how you put the green laces on them too. Let's look at a Terminator. So Terminator, these, let's these go. CDG Terminators. Okay, I have okay. I just brought. I think the blue one is my favorite. Now this is a you know the, it's basically a run of the mill Terminator, but with really really nice leather. So the main differences are is the tongue is all leather and this inside is all leather. Now these are going well below retail, and and these are nice ass shoes. They these shoes like they creak like like leather boots. Like when you walk in these, they they make they creak. I mean it's crazy. Like I I haven't had a sneaker that that does that. And so yeah, these these are fancy. I, so I, I was pretty pleased with with these, even though I overpaid buying them at retail. Right. I noticed that you're very much into the Terminators. How many Terminators do you have? Um, geez, I don't know. I think about 12 pair, maybe. Yeah, I was going to say. And, and speaking two. of, these are the Be True Terminators from the Be True collection. And this is nice, too. It's got, this leather is all very fancy. And then this is like a new buck which is nice it's very very soft and uh i think that's the same as what the swoosh is but uh yeah so these are very fancy i like them too plus the color palette is pretty legit interesting all right Okay, yeah, this will be the last pair I'm going to show. But these low-key, these are the dark horse low-key shoe of the year for me. You'll be, well, no one's going to be surprised. But these twos are sick as fuck. 
these were a women's release so sorry if you wear bigger than a ten and a half guys you can't wear these but the materials i mean i i'm a if you know you know i'm a fan of unc blue and i'm a fan of the jordan grays so there's there's nothing i'm not, not liking about this shoe i mean it, it is really nice and then the materials i don't know if people know but jordan 2 was designed in italy because they wanted to give a vibe of like you know the sort of house of gucci you know the italy upscale thing and like i don't I don't, I don't really care whether or not that worked on the court or not. I don't really give a shit. But it really shows in, you know, the overall design in the sense that it lends itself to nice materials. Like, that you don't even have to try. And it's almost like the tattoos come out just so nice. And so, yeah. Here's another one I would recommend people buy just because if you don't own many tattoos, this is, this is one to have. This is not a normal two people have. You know, you don't need to buy those, the Chicago twos or any of that. Get something cool. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I think that's all. I think that's all I brought out. That's it? That's it. All right, so let's talk about, let's talk about, I mean, you know, we're like kind of halfway through the year. Is there anything that you've seen that you want to get that's coming through the year? I know I've seen, you know, for me, the the Cherry 12s. That's what I really want. Yeah. But other than that, I don't see nothing crazy. How about you? Well, not really. There's another pair of twos I want. I think they're called the Sky J. They're like, they're like an orange, some, like a, but they're coming out in sometime in the fall. And I really, I really think that's it. There might be another pair of twos. There might be two twos that are coming out this year that I might be interested in. But otherwise, I mean, I can't think of a lot. I do kind of like those. Know, um, man, did you see those? Those J. Balvin things. I'll probably pick those up. Those are sexy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. Some people don't like J Balvin stuff, so uh, you don't. I thought you had the. I thought you had the J Balvin tools. Oh uh, yeah, I got the ones and the twos, but he's got threes dropping, and so yeah, yeah, those twos. I mean, they he they retail at three hundred is the thing, and so I waited, and I eventually got a pair for less than two hundred, and I mean, so I feel I I don't think the three will do that. Um, but I don't think people super were excited when the early design or the early pictures of those threes came out. Yeah, but I, I mean, those those threes are definitely going to sell out, man. Oh, for sure, a hundred percent. None of the no, yeah, but I don't think there it's going to be like no kind of Travis Scotts or you know it's. I think you'll be able to find a decent price pair. How do you price. feel about how do you feel about those Union ones coming out? <laughs> I don't like that baseball stitching. It's like you're, you, it's a, it's made out of a baseball, or it's, a, I don't, not into it. It's not for me. It's not for me. I want to see them. I want to see them in person, man. I don't I, know. You know, and I do too, but I don't. I, I can't see liking them. I just really can't. It's not. Uh, There's some tools that are kind of interesting. Kind of the black cement tools. Oh right, right, yeah, yeah. I like those. There's some other lame twos coming, like the Christmas twos. I don't like. There's another pair that I feel like looks like Christmas, the Italy pair. And yeah, there's some uh, there's some twos that aren't great coming. Yeah, man. So uh, let me ask you. So uh, on a scale of one to ten, what's what's like? How much do you love shoes, sneakers? I think it's a ten. <laughs> just because it's i realize like even sneakerhead types might not listen to podcasts about sneakers and i feel like that's kind of where i i listen okay. you know i listen to the complex podcast yeah those are sick i'll definitely get those yeah those are real sick 
so uh yeah i think i like sneakers a, a, a lot i mean yeah so it, it uh around the ballpark how many sneakers do you have in your collection um probably did you hear me hello i lost what? you there oh yeah I said I got about 175 pairs. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice man. That's pretty that's pretty deep. So clearly we've only spoken about Nike. Is there any other brand that you have outside of Nike? Nope. <laughs> it's all Nike's. So I'm assuming that if you were ever to design your own shoe it would be with Nike? Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably, I, I would probably make a, a pretty two. I don't know what, but I would love to, I would love to design it too. I wish they would have a Nike by you on the two. That would be cool. I did a pair of, of Dunk Highs that I, I liked, but uh, yeah, I think I'd have fun with the two for sure. That's pretty dope, man. Um, yeah, man, and that's pretty dope, bro. So, what's like your holy, like your holy grail shoe? Is there like a holy grail shoe that you really want? Um, I was trying. I was thinking about this before we jumped on, and it's hard to say because there's shoes that you know you can almost find anything on StockX or somewhere. It's just a matter of paying the the, the ticket on it, you know. Because I was thinking, one of my grails, I think, is the rust pink ones. I love those rust pink ones. But they're like, they're like $8,000 on StockX for I, for I don't know why. But I just, so it's like, I'll never see myself really getting those. What are they, what are they called? Rust the rust pink? pink? Pink, rust pink ones. Yeah, yeah, pull them up. They look a lot like the best hand in the game packs. Um, they're, you know, it's the, uh, the yeah, price. kind of like the mocha is, style is color insane. blocking. Why is the price so expensive? I, I don't, I don't know either. It's crazy. I have no idea. It doesn't make any sense. It's, but yeah, that's crazy. Other than that, you know, I don't, I. I was trying to think about it and, uh, you know, I mostly like, you know, my, I think I got all of what I wanted right now as far as like my, my grail type pairs. Yeah. I just can't think of anything out there that, that I would pay, that I would be excited about to that degree. Yeah. The rust pinks are, are probably nice. But again, yeah, I'm not gonna pay that money. The, the, those are sexy, but yeah, man, that money is just insane. Um, it's crazy. It doesn't make any sense. I'll just settle for the ones that just dropped recently, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I and obviously I have. I don't, you know. There's nothing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna break the bank on that. I mean, I've paid a lot for shoes, but I'm fucking not. I ain't never. I don't see myself ever having any money where I'm gonna drop fucking eight racks on a pair of shoes or something yeah that makes sense man i'd like to be that rich where i could drop fucking eight eight bands on it but i don't see that happening maybe one day right maybe i'll win the lottery maybe shit bro but uh yo bro you have a cool sick collection i mean Pretty much the collection that you that you showed me from this year, most of them are like the ones that I have. So it's funny that you showed me like pretty much my closet. <laughs> so it's like it's like we think alike, you know. It's like yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing is like I follow people that have that like all the same shoes I like. So it's like I end up with people whose collections are very similar. 
Right. But it's because I'm not going to follow somebody who's got a bunch of like nines because I don't give a shit about nines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good thing I have fucking variety, so I, yeah. I got I got away with, with that one. But yeah, man, it was awesome having you on the show. This was fun doing this. Um, thank you again for the gift for the Terminators. Yeah, I really for appreciate sure, man. you. It was great to be here. I had a great time, man. Call, call me anytime. Bro, we, we're going to have to do this again. And for sure, whenever I'm in Memphis, because I Hell definitely yeah. got to go, I'll hit you up and, you know, we link up, bro. Hell but yeah. thank you so much, Dan. Dan the man. This was awesome. Everybody, thank you. Have a great night, Dan. Have a good night, everybody. Peace, Peace out, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Until the next one.